This is the only technology that, that we don't have today. Everything that you listen to is actually available to your practice. Robots are not there yet, but based on what I know of different companies, they're aiming for a first case for at least similar biometric and second for next year. So it's only one year away that we may be having robots as part of one of the ways you can execute shoulder arthroplasty. And I think it's important, since we are going to be new to this field, to go to the basics. So what is a robot? What can you call a robot? It's a device that you can program to do a task. That's a very bare bones definition of a robot, where you have an intelligent effector, where you provide some input, and as a consequence, there will be an action. And if you think about why is it that we have used robots in humanity, there is basically two reasons. Number one, because robots can work relentlessly without physical or mental burnout. So for example, you're gonna build cars in a car factory. Of course, a robot can be a screen wheels to your car non-stop and they will never get tired, they will never ask for a race and so on. Or the second reason is that maybe robots can actually be superior to us humans, either because they are more accurate or because they are faster or because they can work in places we cannot. For example, you can use robots to explode landmines, which you don't want to send a human because obviously we will pass away. And I think in orthopedics, the main reason is going to be that robots are superior to humans in both accuracy and precision. So I'm going to discuss a few concepts about what is the robot process and abilities, what we have seen in the lower extremity, and then how I think that will translate into shoulder arthroplasty. So when you have a robot, again, it's basically two different portions. You have the program and input.